Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY, and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and welcome to any new viewers. So like always, if you follow me on social media, which the links are down below, you'll have seen a list of everything needed for today's project. So we're going to jump on in, and we're going to get started on this project, but right before we start, I just want to tell you, I got this idea of a picture I saw on Facebook, and I fell in love with it, and I cannot wait to get started. So we're going to jump on in, and I'm going to tell you what you need, and show you what you need. Alright, so you're going to need a wine glass. I got this actually from a place called Habitat for Humanity Restore. You can find some at Walmart, but they probably will not be plastic. Not that it matters, but this is plastic. So you can find them anywhere. So I'm sure you can find them somewhere. So you're also going to need some glue, Elmer's glue, whatever. This I got from Dollar Tree also. You're going to need some white glitter you're gonna need some black paint a pair of scissors and a paintbrush you're gonna need a black sharpie you're gonna need some cardboard a glue gun and you can also use this is for a different version instead of the cardboard you can use some string or ribbon so let's get started. Alrighty, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue, maybe, down in the cup, the glass, and we're going to just swirl it around. Now you could try a brush. I've tried this with a brush and I did not like how it came across. So, but you know what? We're going to try it with a different brush. We're going to try it with a sponge brush. I tried it with a regular brush. I did not like how it worked and I probably still won't like how it works. But the point is to get it nice and coated with the glue. You don't want any streaks if you can help it. And I am not liking how this is streaking, no matter what I try. So I might do a little at a time and go from there because this is not working the way. I was hoping a different method would work better. I don't want these streaks. So then you're going to just put the glitter in there and I might have to do this more than once because I'm not liking how it does but then you're just going to put the glitter around it. You're coating the glass with the glitter. And then you're going to let it dry. Alright y'all, I know what I did wrong and I was not putting enough glue in there. So you want to get a lot of glue in there and then put it on there. So while this is drying, we're going to do this part. And it's the same thing, you're going to put a lot of glue on there. So I'm just going to put the glue. You want to make sure there's plenty of glue. So that it's thick enough. And then you're just going to put the glitter on top. Now I have a paper towel here I was using and I'm going to continue to use it. And you're just going to make sure you get it completely covered. Oopsie. 
Now I'm going to let this dry and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, y'all, now I'm going to show y'all my attempt to make a little top hat. So I just cut out a piece of cardboard and then I made two circles, one smaller than the other. I don't know if you can see them. And I'm just going to cut these out and we're going to see how this looks. And I'm telling you right now, if it doesn't look the way I want it to, I'm not using it. I'll do a girl snowman. But you can also buy hats at the store. Um, Dollar Tree has uh, fall ones, so that would work even though they're not black. I don't know if they had black ones. Walmart, they have little hat ornaments you can use. Or it might have been clips, I don't know, but still, you can use those. You don't want to make it, but cardboard works. Make this a little bit easier to cut. my two circle-ish things and I'm just gonna take this cardboard and you can do it different ways I'm just gonna roll it up into a like a roll it up like a burrito and we'll see how it works it's not want to do what I want to do it's being a butt <laughs> Being a pain. And I wanted it like this because I wanted some thickness to it. And then we'll glue it together. And then we'll make our stuff. But we're going to glue it together the pieces. We're going to glue this together and then we're going to paint them and then we'll glue them all together because we don't want any problems. So I would like to hear y'all's thoughts on how to make certain things. See what y'all think and y'all can give me an opinion on. I just want to make sure it's nice and glued. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and we will paint the different pieces. So that is the next step. Sorry. The glue wants to stay stuck to me. Now I am using ink by Waverly chalk paint but you could just use regular black or whatever you want and you're just gonna paint it now there are many different ways of making the hat this is just the way I chose to try it and see how it come out looking Dry and move on to the next piece. Now, I just thought this was a really cool idea to make some decor pieces for around your house for Christmas. Because what you're going to do when you're done with this is you're going to put a tea light on the top of it, which is the bottom of the glass. A little tea light candle. And it makes a great decor piece. Now you're going to paint the whole thing. Top, bottom, sides, everything. 
So we're going to let this dry. All right, they're pretty much dry. So you're going to just take the next step. What you're going to do is you're going to just glue it on there. I'm going to try to get in the middle. Oops, sorry. I don't know how good I'm at that. About as good as I am as, um, actually doing a circle. next step I don't know how I feel about it we'll go from there and see but now the next thing you're gonna do is give me a second so because I used a big bunch of glue it's not completely dry so I'm making sure it's on this paper towel and we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step because you're gonna be doing the outside of the glass so it's not a big deal so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your sharpie and you're just gonna draw a face there's the eyes and then you're gonna do the mouth I got mine a little crooked, but it's fine. And that is the part of face. Now, this part I forgot to mention. You're gonna need something for the nose, and I have these styrofoam carrots I got from Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna cut the tip of it off because I can still use it even without the tip. And I'm just going to glue the nose in the middle. Now, I lost the hat I made. How did I lose that hat I made? Y'all, this is funny. I really did lose that hat. Oh, there it is. The next step is to put either a hat on it or a bow. And I'm going to go ahead and do the hat that I made. And we're just going to glue it here. And I'm going to show you the idea on the bow. I'm not going to completely do it because I'm not using it. But you're just going to take, say, some string. And you're gonna make a shoestring bow. Whoopsie. And then you would glue it where I glued the hat, but you don't need to do that because if unless you want to. So of course you're gonna have to cut it. So hold on, I think I have one more thing I want to do to it. This is just complete extra. So I have some of this I got. I believe I got this either. I believe I got this from Dollar Tree, but I'm just cut a little bitty piece off. Doesn't need to be big. And I'm going to glue it on there. I'm going to do that twice. Just for a little decoration on here. Let me see what I want to do. And this just gives it a little extra color. And also, if you don't have any of that, if you have these little mini bows, you can stick one on there. And that is literally it for this project. I absolutely love how they ca how it came out. 
I hope you enjoyed and if you did please 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 like share subscribe and comment down below because it helps my channel to grow also on a side note before I say bye because I almost forgot I did do another one and I did it in silver just so I could show y'all what they look like I think I like the white one best but I think they are absolutely cute and I can't wait to put them out for this holiday season. Alright, I'll see y'all next time. Bye!